guys thank you for stopping by i really do hope that you take something away from this video so that you can keep coming back for more so in today's video i'm going to be sharing it's going to be a quick video i'm going to be sharing the three tips that i have for you in order to calm down nerves so this is when you're about to to go to an audition this is when you're about to perform on stage and nerves are normal nerves are okay nerves are good if anything but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna outline a, a few ways that have helped me that can help you in order to make sure that those nerves are under control so that you can get the role and nail it okay so first of all nerves are a sign that you not only do you love what you do but you're also taking what you do very seriously it means I would try it in sevens Wow. It's you haven't gotten to the point where you feel like oh, I've acted so many times I've presented so many times I can do this You know, you always want to excel in a new way in a, in a better way than before So hence why I say nerves are okay. In fact, if anything nerves are good Nerves only become a problem when you can't control them when they overtake you when I can see through the performance You know what's what's up about you know So that's when we need to tackle nerves so tip number one in terms of how to do this is Always make sure that whatever you are going to do is well rehearsed. You know, a yiko in them, a karma omutu down and boosters the confidence of a person if anything that you're about to do on stage, on set, behind the mic is rehearsed. I just can't emphasize this hard enough, but rehearse, never get to a point where you feel like, um, uh, cool you know it, it's okay to not over rehearse in fact most of the time I don't recommend over rehearsing but rehearse well in that tip number two always be confident be sure of what you're doing never show in fact a good performer never shows what they doubting never shows that even no matter what you're not hundred percent lines down obviously I don't recommend this but in cases it, it does happen but the confidence when a pillar not director I come in as the you missed that word or you missed that entire line but the confidence in whatever you do always needs to shine through so it's a matter of trusting yourself and believing in yourself and once you do this it will suppress being nervous you know if you trust yourself and what you're about to do Automatically, as about my name is again, you're about to go on stage, but it's not going to be nerves that you cannot control because you are content and you are pleased with yourself with what you're about to give us before us even applauding you. If you are doing a scene with someone, trust them. Why am I burping? Like I didn't drink anything. <clears throat> okay, so um, let's say you you doing you doing a play and you play yako has five people in the scene. It, it, it reduces a lot of weight from your shoulders um, so make sure what if you're doing a scene with someone or with people trust them now you don't just trust the person by looking at them you trust the person through rehearsals it's a process so I'd say take it as seriously as the performance because that's the only way you guys are gonna gel together connect and be able to trust together you know my my director always says um, there is no way that you're gonna pull it off on stage so the chemistry needs to work at rehearsal the trust needs to be there at the rehearsal before it can be portrayed at stage but it's so relieving to work with umuntu oktembal and now we're footy umtembal so another way to suppress nerves is make sure that you trust your team your crew um I did say three tips, but another one is coming into my mind that I cannot leave out. Warm up. <laughs> Yo, warm ups. You know, warm ups can be irritating. They can be a lot, especially when you're nervous. Like I find it so hard to nervous to, to to warm up when you're nervous because you, you're constantly thinking about, oh my gosh, I'm about to perform, I'm about to perform. Yet you need to be doing something else with your body. But it is so important to warm up. We are even tuning in to the character before you the character before you become the character becomes a lot more easier. So I know a lot of actors look down on the warm up or see a rope at warm up, but we are when I'm going to be a little bit of a little bit So I can't even emphasize the importance of a warm up. So the last tip before I bounce is tune in. Tune in into your character. Meditate that just before the performance they prefer to warm up um, two, uh, 
Okay. So some shows will have equal time two hours before, some will have one hour before. So I've worked with people, Abati, for the first hour we call time they want to warm up, like a strong physical warm up. And then the second hour they just want to meditate. Um, and I've seen it work. Like I've seen people put, pull off beautiful performances right after meditating and tuning in. Now tuning in for, for, for different people doesn't take an hour. It differs with, with, with different people. For instance, I did mention in my previous video that, oh did I? Okay, I'm mentioning now that the how I tune in is I will let's say I'm playing Utandi Utanduna 25. So how I'll tune in is even if it's 10 minutes before the show, I'll start being in my own corner and I'll start being Utandi. So I'll start uh, walking like Tandi in in my head. Sometimes I'll even spit it out. I'm gonna start saying Tandi 25 years old. Tandi 25 years old. Tandi 25 years old. Tandi 25 years old. And I'll start walking like her. I'll start adding a gesture so if she, all the time she does this i'll start doing this so i'll become that character just before i go on stage so some people it takes them to be quiet and listen to music and and just tune in that's how they tune in they walk around and tune in um prefer kuluma and tune in so find a, a way of tuning in that best works for you but tuning in is basically when you when you sort of you know so it's important to tune in and once, because to be honest with you, Umunda so get nervous before a performance is Asipe, not the character, you know, because the character is living whatever is going to be portrayed on stage. But Asipe, the one, the Asipe that still needs to transform to the character is the one nervous. So once you leave the body and the mind of Asipe and be the character, nerves, if you're still nervous while you're still tuning in, then you haven't tuned in enough. We've come to the end of our video. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do hope that you do come back next time. But till next time, you are a star. As my, my dad is coming. Ugh. This is my first time. The first time my dad is seeing me shoot and he's just like standing <laughs> by the window. Anyway, warm up.